Thank you. I'm standing here in the lobby of the Aria Hotel Budapest, and this is also known as the Music Garden. For obvious reasons, you could tell this is indeed a music-themed hotel, luxury boutique property with 49 rooms, and it has four wings, an opera, classical, contemporary, and jazz wing, each with its own themed uh, accommodations inside. Also, the facility has a uh, lovely spa, and it is known for its high note sky bar on the rooftop. Let's go ahead and meet Kathleen Moore, an executive here at the hotel, and she can tell guests what to expect and what else they can find here on the property. As soon as you enter the lobby, you just cannot uh deny to see the whole music concept with the piano tail going all the way to the piano which is basically like a Bogani piano. Um, Gergely Bogani he is a um, Hungarian musician playing piano, classical piano and he's also designing this piano. It has a very special sound um, and uh, it's, it's kind of like a modern way how a piano is built. So this is the first thing what you see in the lobby, that it's already like pointing out the music concept. And then when, when you look into the little details, you see the music everywhere. So when you go in the Stradivari restaurant, uh, then you see the violins hanging from the roof as part of the lamp. Then when you see, go into the bar, then we have like the Sachmo's bar and the Sachmo library. So it's like all the, all the little details in the lobby, you see the music concept. And then of course you hear it as well. We have four different musical wings, a classical one, an opera one, a contemporary one, and the jazz one. Um, and basically we have the four wings which are dedicated to, to one music thematic, but also every room is dedicated to one artist in that spe specific music thematic. If somebody is a big, uh, let's say, Rolling Stones fan, then they can stay in the Rolling Stones room. If somebody is a Michael Jackson fan, they can stay in the Michael Jackson room. But from Mozart and more classical direction to Placido Domingo, they can all stay in those suites as well. And of course, as we have also a very unique music concept in that sense that we have a music director in the hotel, he is basically also in charge of the music concept of the hotel, that in every elevator you have the dedicated music to that thematic in which wing we are. Uh, every room you have like CDs and a book of that dedicated artist. Downstairs in the lobby we have a music library with uh, more 100 CDs. So we can basically prepare for you even before your arrival some music which you like. But also he is more than happy to do consultations and that's the very very unique part about him because he can recommend you concerts and musical programs really tailor-made. That he's showing you different CDs with uh, it can be like Hungarian jazz, uh, Hungarian folklore music, it can be like opera performance, anything. And he is showing you like different kind of styles and he can, and up and that what you like the most, he can recommend your really tailor-made concerts and events. And you would say so we are in our high note sky bar also the name the high note sky bar is pointing out the music concept again so we cannot uh, go around that we, we we have music everywhere so the whole point about the high note sky bar is um, actually that um, in budapest they didn't had in the last year so many rooftop bars like they had in the us before so this was basically one of the first ones um, and because our owner comes from uh, from the States, he was very familiar already with the concept, so he wanted to implement that in Budapest as well. And due to the location of the hotel that is very central, you basically have a 360 view around the whole city. You can see the Buddha side and you can see the past side as well. So that was just an added feature to, uh, to, the, to the hotel, but uh, um, it was so successful with the whole concept, what we implemented about the cocktails, that uh, um, 
it became a known brand as well, the High Note Sky Bar. So a lot of people come to the hotel also as outside guests to see the Sky Bar. All our bartenders and bar managers, they come from Michelin star restaurants, so they have very high expectations and they, they really do cocktails as an art. So uh, we even pair it with bar food, the cocktails, which, uh, which is a special thematic. And every bartender has his own dedicated cocktail because they really believe in that as well that like everybody should give a little bit from himself into the cocktails what we serve to our guests. So we also have our um, uh, spa, which is called the Harmony Spa Budapest. Um, that also became already an own brand within the hotel because uh, we use it as a day spa as well. But it's of course uh, also for our hotel guests and mainly for our hotel guests. Um, you can find next to it that we have of course a swimming pool a sauna a steam bath like all the, the spa facilities and massage facilities um, and of course the gym what is also important to know that that hungary is is very famous for the spas in general we have um, basically we are the thermal capital thermal water capital of europe so we have more than 100 thermal springs in the city so for us going to spas is something um, traditional as well and it belongs to the culture And what is the, the special thing which also belongs to, to the spa? That we do uh, a rooftop yoga in our High Note Sky Bar. That's every second Sunday that we offer it to our in-house guests and also outside guests are allowed to come to it. Um, it's a very popular program that's mainly for locals and for experts, but a lot of our in-house guests enjoy that opportunity as well as to have like on Sundays at nine o'clock in the morning, a yoga above the city. And the newest thing what we also implemented is a rooftop massage. So basically in one of our towers, you can have uh, a massage in the morning because the sky bar starts to operate at noon every day with the lunch time so in the morning it's it's very private and in case uh, you are interested in that we we made a special package that we can have the the massage here in the towers what we also like with all these programs which are cultural programs and sport programs what we try to to um, where we always try to involve music. We have one which is very specific, that's our wine and cheese reception. Um, we have it from four o'clock to six o'clock in the afternoon. It's basically a, a very nice selection of Hungarian wines, white, rosé and red wines, and a very nice selection of uh, international cheese to it. And the special thing about this program is first of all, that it's all included in the room rate, so it's an added value. And the second thing is that like we all every day have a live performance from our residence piano player Kasai um, and um, and he is playing uh, live for our guests usually by the end of the week it becomes a little concert hall so sometimes like even guests are singing with him or uh, Fridays he usually brings um, a guest singer with him and then they they sing and play together so it's a very nice cultural program what what you can have every day free of charge in the hotel You've seen all of the features around the hotel. Now it is time to finally show you one of these rooms. We are in the Jazz Wing, and we have the Nat King Cole room up on the sixth floor, number 610. Let's go inside. You'll notice the nice large bed, a lot of stylish furniture you have here. Little two-seater couch, 
a Shea Lounge. I want to show you some of the features over by the bed. First of all, you can see out into the courtyard through these windows. There's a little balcony outside and you do have access to get out there through the main little lobby area just outside our door. But with the one touch button, you can do all your lights on and off and close the curtain at night. And here you see some caricature art. That's uh, each room in the hotel. There are 49 rooms and they are all themed for an artist or a group of musicians. And there he is at King Cole, keeping us company here. Each side of the bed has its own controllers for the lights. And you do get a little mini fridge, coffee service, and you've probably been ignoring me so far because you've noticed this big soaker tub in the middle of the room. It's a nice treat. They have molten brown toiletries for you to use as well during your stay. Takes us around to this stylish wardrobe. And over here is some shelving, some more drawers, and a safe. Let's check out the bathroom. Which has a large walk-in shower. And the little Aria signature is on all these linens and I want to show you this cool thing. They give you your own bathrobes to use also. We've seen people wearing them around, even on their way through the main lobby area into the spa. The spa is a nice treat that everyone enjoys here. Sink. And I'll take you back to the TV the living room because this is a big part of the music theme that's going on in this hotel is the music director Cornell has loaded up selections and you can even control how you're hearing that when you're enjoying the shower and it's coming up into the speaker and there's a couple of the more design features I wanted to show you. You see the chandelier in the bathroom. Very nice. Also looking up, we really love this brick look that we have throughout the bedroom and the ceiling. And finally, we have Spotlight pointing at the bed. So there's that. And a couple other cool things amenities that they offer here at Aria Hotel is this iPad for your personal use. It's got newspapers on there, you can load it up with your own apps. They also provide, during your stay, this handy phone, but you actually can also use it, put apps into it, do whatever you want, and it calls about 45 different countries in the world, so you'll have no charges on your own phone, you just use this one. That is quite a benefit. Um, so there you see all the things that they have at this hotel. Okay, so what's the bottom line here about Aria Hotel Budapest? To recap, we've spent three days here. We had a really great time. There is a fitness center, which we use. It's a little small, but we are also located very close to the Danube River, and St. Stephen's Basilica is right next door, and we head out there in the morning, and you can go for nice runs 
around here. There's all sorts of restaurants also nearby. We uh, took advantage of that for uh, lunches and things like that. On the property itself, included in your room rate is a gourmet breakfast every day, which is good as fresh fruits. You can get omelets made to order, breads, things like that. The uh, High Note Sky Bar has got awesome bartenders and a menu of cocktails. They pair it with small bites. Um, that was fantastic. We spent a night up there enjoying the sunset. You can see out over the city. You're right next to the Basilica looming in the distance. That's a fantastic uh, treat. So there's a lot of luxurious uh, things here. It's a nice, cool vibe. Um, the service is great. The spa, we enjoyed um, some massages down there. The, the uh, sauna, two sauna rooms. There's an infrared room and a regular sauna. A beautiful pool. And most of the time when we were down there, we were the only people there. So it's a small hotel, a nice little boutique place, and you have a lot of quiet, calm areas. The afternoon, uh, every day from 4 till 6, there's a pianist. And they have wine, cheese, and hors d'oeuvres. That's included for guests. Uh, just a lot of awesome stuff. So I would highly recommend you consider staying at this hotel on your next uh, visit to Budapest, whether you're embarking for a cruise or staying after your cruise or whether you're just here to enjoy the city because why wouldn't you? It's an awesome place. Um, there you have it. I recommend it highly, the Aria Hotel Budapest. And I thank you for watching this video and we'll see you again real soon.